my dad stood in front of the grand jury, up on a charge of impersonating a father, I think they'd throw the case out the window. But then again, that's my dad. Damn you, Charlie! I think he's just been misunderstood. Well, I can't have custody either. And throwing fruit at me ain't gonna change my mind. He ain't even mind for all I know. Oops. Don't you tarnish me with that brush. Of course he's yours. Look at him, he's a pain in the butt, ain't he? Believe me, I have done my time with him, Charlie. You kept me hidden away too long while you went poking your six-gun around town with your hoodlum buddies. Oh, yeah, you didn't care about my life. But who cares if I lose my career, my identity, my figure? Well, this is it, Charlie. I have had it. I'm going back to the stage. I'm leaving you for art. And this time, I ain't coming back. Promise? I always knew my mother didn't want me. She had dreams to chase, and I didn't figure in them. <clears throat> but then, you know, I was never a mama's boy anyways. And my father, he just needs to discover the joys of fatherhood. Shut your pie hole, and don't move. And don't touch nothing, either. And don't get too comfortable. I'm working on getting you out of here. Sit down and keep it shut. Yeah, what? Since when do you talk to me like that? Now, there's only one person who yanks my dad's chain. Benny the Bomb Paladino. Sorry. I was just joking here. Charlie, you make a lousy comedian, you know that? I ain't laughing. Laughing? Ain't nobody laughing. So quit with the monkey business. I need you to pick up you know what from you know who. Time's up for me to collect you know where, and the win is now. You know, I like you, Charlie. I don't know why, but I'm giving you this last opportunity to make up for your little mistake. I'd even give you 10% since you caught me in a good mood. But you don't get this chance twice. So bring back you know what, whatever. Charlie. Yeah, boss. No more jokes, you hear? You know who ain't got my sense of humor. Right? One hundred percent legitimate. The law won't have a thing on me. We'll get rid of that young punk Irish hooligan once and for all. Put respectable criminals back on the street. Just leave it to me. Remember, Ellis, I want you know who for murder, nothing else. when things started to go wrong. My dad was never meant to be a gang player, but he had no choice. You see, he owed Benny big time. Benny caught him cheating with marked cards at one of his joints years back, and since then, my dad's been doing Benny favors just to keep himself out of the hospital. Or worse. But this favor was different. This favor was suicide. There was no way McCray the Irishman was gonna give up the you-know-what. And Benny knew it. My dad was a sitting duck. <laughs> oh, I need a bit of dough. I need much. Buy some land with a tree in the middle. You won't see me for dust.
Wait in the car. Trick or treat. not to go in until I give the command. They must wait until I give the command. Now make sure you tell them. surgery. I don't want any trouble inside the club. The only brain surgery you'll see, boy, is when I operate on yours with me fists. <laughs> so keep monkey boy here behind bars. People tend to panic and shoot dangerous animals. And you should know. I uh, guess Earl here is not as dangerous as your muscle. <laughs> this fella ain't so big either, McCray, but he sure packs a punch. Let's keep this civilized. Take a seat. Well, I take it you're not here because you read the good reviews. You're right. His word of mouth brought me here. A friend's recommendation. Really? And, uh... What did this friend recommend exactly? He recommends you pay him what you owe him. Well, you tell this friend I'll pay him exactly what his service is worth. Jack Diddley squat. With bells on. <laughs> Three times in the last month. <coughs> Three times in the last month, the cops have shown up here. Three times. Now, if you think I got to be where I am today by giving away hard earned money for nothing, then I ain't ugly Jim McCray. I got enough illegal booze on this place to sink the Titanic twice over. That's why I pay your friend all that dough, to keep the pigs from sniffing around here. But now look what happens. Three times in the last month. So you can tell your friend to take his recommendations and shove them up his own butt. But ask yourself this. Why should my friend stop his more, shall we say, legal-minded associates from visiting you? If he ain't even getting a slice of the pie. Your boss ain't gonna be the boss of bosses much longer. Yeah, right. The power's moving downtown. You'll get no money from me. Now get out.
get the signal, Chief? No. Get away with what exactly? You know who this is? Don't throw any bull at me, McRae. I ain't no matador. He ain't gonna draw me into any war because you bumped off one of my men. The cops are waiting for you. Outside. Well, you send him in, Benny. Ain't no one been bumped off here. Not tonight, anyway. Sure, your man was here. And he got the money, too. Ten G's a whole week's earnings. But now you owe me. I gotta get the decorators into here to patch up the clock. That's more than a week's bag. I wanna learn to control your children, Benny. Someone might get hurt. Sign! Don't answer it. You need time to hatch a plan. That stupid voice. Would somebody strangle you? Poison you what? No, I'm still breathing. All right, take it deep. Breath. Tell me how you got in the what. Boss, I didn't get it. It was a hiccup or two. Things didn't quite go as planned. What's going on here? You got you know what? Or what? No, he wouldn't give it to me. But I got a plan. This is your last chance, Charlie. You better be telling the truth. Sit down. Don't move. I'll call you back. Bring him to me. Come on, let's go. Now you see what happens. So you see what you've done. Now I gotta head south, because there's only one way I'm gonna get myself out of this one. But, Dad, you said that all you need is once you got the money, then... All I need is for you to do what I tell you and keep that runaway math of your shut. Can you do that for once? As soon as I get my 10%, you ain't gonna see me for dust. I got no time or inclination for babysitting. Sit still. Phone rings, don't answer it. You hear me? No, 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 no. Leave it. never got the pleasure of my company, because before my dad could find him, he arrived in Cheerful, the apple capital, where happiness grows on trees. Best kept secret in the South. Population, 242. Okay, make that 241. Yeah, and 
this is nothing like a friendly welcome. Well, it ain't no best kept secret. This town is the capital of Ugly Jim's bootlegging operation. So my dad figured that Ugly Jim would need to pay the guys making his whiskey, and that he would be sending the money through the bank he runs here in Cheerful. My dad's plan was to steal back the money that, strictly speaking, Ugly Jim owed to Benny. And strictly speaking, that ain't even stealing. At least that was his plan. And step one was to sit back and wait for the bank to open. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. In sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life, to our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall change the body of our low estate, that it may be like unto his glorious body, according to the mighty working, whereby he is able to subdue all things to himself. Amen. Amen. Sheriff, are you going to do anything about this? I don't want to wake up dead one morning just because I've stood up for this town. This is him. Ellen. As far as the law is concerned, this was a terrible, tragic accident. Case closed. God rest his soul. Believe me, there ain't nothing we can do about it except mind our own business, keep our heads down and our backs up. This whole thing will go over soon, I tell you. Like a regular tornado. Like a tornado, it will destroy everything in its path. Ellen, I've been on the force since I was high enough to kick a cricket in the ass. This time next year, I'm gonna hit retirement with a pension that ain't gonna feed my dog, if I had one. Got me a bullet lodge in the place that's kept me from taking a wife all these years, and I ain't looking to add to it. I ain't no coward, Ellen, but I ain't stupid either. Like I said, it's gonna blow over. I want to be here when the dust clears. Yes, and when it does, I just hope there's something left to see. The Lord may be your shepherd, but it doesn't mean you have to stand around like a dumb sheep. Gills, why don't you herd the boys on over to the bar? Take the afternoon off out of respect for the department. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Well, hello, stranger. Ain't you gonna introduce yourself? I take it you ain't wearing that mask because you're a shy boy. So tell me, what can a vulnerable girl left all of her lonesome do for a big, powerful man like you? She can open the safe. This ball is what you think it is. Oh, how predictable, honey. You men are all the same. You only want one thing, and sadly, it's money. Give me ten grand. No more, no less. Ain't no one in this town got any money, honey. Not till Friday, when they get paid. I ain't interested in their money. What about the McCray account? Oh, you're a look, sugar. There won't be any dough in that account for another week. Looks like you got yourself all excited and aroused. Too soon. A week? That ain't possible. You must have made a mistake, lady. Oh, honey, the only mistake I made was coming to this dirt bowl town in the first place. Apparently, someone stole the money up in the city before they could wire it. Can you imagine? What sort of person would do a crazy thing like that? Did you got insurance? The only insurance this bank's got is the owner's name, Jim McRae. Ain't no one ever had the hoods for the robber. That makes you kind of special. Except, of course, 
failed to wrap the occasion. So we had to stick around until payday, without attracting attention. What can I get you, sir? I can really recommend Big Lucy's juice. Whiskey. Where have you been hiding, mister? Even out here, we still got the prohibition. I can't serve you no liquor, but I do have plenty of juice. Scotch juice, Irish juice, Canadian. <laughs> I had to make sure you ain't a federal marshal in disguise. Single or double? Give me both. Sure must be thirsty. Yeah, if I knew I was going to be this thirsty today, I would have drunk more last night. Well, welcome to Cheerful. Best kept secret in the Midwest. Your secret's safe with me. I ain't seen you around here before. Are you from the city, mister? Well, they're burying out there. School teacher. Had an accident. And, uh, strange you should be heading away from the city. Most of our men folk have run up there looking for work. Let me ask you. Do you give credit? Now that depends what for. What's your business here, boy? Hmm? We don't like no strangers snooping around our town, looking us up and down like we all got two heads and ten toes. I got no interest in looking you up, down, side to side, or any other ways for that matter. No, I don't mean to be rude, but I'm trying to read your fine newspaper here. Oh, you smart boy. But let me tell you something. Reading don't count for nothing out here. It certainly ain't taught you how to board a hiding none. Johnny, pass me that there baseball bat. <laughs> I'm gonna whack this guy's head back to the Wrigley Stadium. Uh, hold on now, boys. Let's talk this through. Shut your big fat mouth, Lucy. Okay, okay. Drop the Babe Ruth routine, I'll pitch you the news you want. Fellas, I'm here to do a job. I'm your new school teacher. You there! Freeze! Police! Is this yours? I thought I told you to stay out of trouble. Looks like I caught me a thieving little musketeer. What do you say, babyface? Speak up, Sonny. Name's not babyface. I ain't your Sonny. You escaped from somewhere? I don't know how you sleep at night. Let's hope you're never there to find out. You should be ashamed of yourself guzzling bathtub booze in a bar while this poor child runs right on the street. Oh, that's my idea, education. <laughs> Your son is a thief, mister. He robbed my store, and I want to know what you're going to do about it. I want justice and compensation and justice. Wasn't me, Dad. Then whose hand's inside that jar, Einstein? 
Circumvented evidence, Dad. I'll never make it stick. He should be in school, learning. Let's not be too hasty. Yeah, I'm attending the school of life. <clears throat> Mrs. Heaven's right. Baby face here needs discipline. Young fella needs schooling what's good and correct. Tell you what I'll do. I'll make a deal with you. I'll let this incident pass. You guarantee me the boys in school all day, every day, while you're in town. Well, uh, we ain't staying in town yet, are we? I don't suppose you could lock them up, could you, Sheriff? No, can do. Fellas too small. Put through the bars. You owe me three dollars for the jar. Don't leave town before you pay me. I wouldn't stay too long around here, neither. It ain't healthy. Beer for you. I thought you might be thirsty. You didn't want to shut me up again. Go on, take it. Arch. Son. I know it's hard for you moving from place to place. I ain't complaining. You mean you're not complaining? You see, you need schooling. Well, I ain't going. You mean you're not going? Good. I'm glad we agree. I'm not. Going. All right, you little brat. I'll make it perfectly clear. You got me in enough trouble already, and that stops now. I'm bigger and meaner than you are, so I'm telling you straight. You're going to school. No debate. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. No, but you can whip until he gets the idea. Son, if I gotta go, you gotta go. Yeah, that's right. I'm the new teacher. So we got no choice. You mean, we have no choice. Yeah, that's right. Look how you're improving already. You give credit. <laughs> what time do you call this? We didn't learn the time yet. All right, big guy. Take a seat. All right, kids. This is the deal. I know you don't want to be here, and believe me, I want to be here even less. Now, I can make our time here very easy, or I can make it very tough. Choice is yours. Any questions? Good. So, open your books and carry on from where you stopped, and keep it quiet. And remember, Learning should be fun. Uh, no, thanks. Not while I'm on duty. You think McCray kept the money? I don't see my Charlie to make off with it. You don't seem that switched on. Maybe. Maybe Jim Cray's bluffing. Charlie ain't here to defend himself. He's gone to ground. He left me with a rumpus on my hand. McCray ain't impressed that you set him up. Now, he's dangerous. I say we take him out, plain and simple. Get rid of the doofus once and for all. You know, it hurts me to say it, Chief, but those days are over. It ain't about the butter bang anymore. We gotta move with the times. The times going legit. Big business now. We gotta wipe our noses clean. Hey, you're a real progressive criminal, Benny. All right, let's go. Let's show him who's boss. McCray. 
Oh, pardon me. And who are you, me old school teacher? Knock it off, boys. How's the decorating going, kid? Expensive. Better be calling her a few debts, maybe. Bring a few of your people into line if you catch me drift. You ain't gonna drift nowhere. You still owe me, and don't you forget it. Oh, I owe you all right. You set me up. I set you up. You set me up. I set you up. Tennis game. The guy with the most strings on his racket wins. That ain't gonna be you. Well, maybe I got an ace up my sleeve. <laughs> ain't you kind of mixing your metaphors, kid? Don't join the game unless you can compete. I'm gonna... But I might do a deal. I'll help you stay out of jail if you just forget this whole misunderstanding. You can keep the booze business. Word is the Roosevelt's going to repeal prohibition around Christmas time, anyhow. So then you'll be legit. Just don't start any other businesses. All right? Now, the ball is in your court. But believe me, you better not hit it back. What's wrong, old man? You lost your edge. You're scared of a fight. This ain't no schoolyard scuffle, kid. This is the big league. Here's the small punk who's been lucky up until now. But your luck is running out. I can afford to make my own luck now, Chief. See? I'm branching out. I got gambling, loan sharking. You name it, I'm getting a piece of it. It'll bring in the big dough if and when booze goes legit. Plus, I get the respect of me people. My men don't steal from me, Paladino. If you don't do as I say, I'm gonna rush you down the drain! I'm getting a little too big to be flushed down no drain. You'll get as big as I allow. Potato, you fancy pants! Vantage McCray. Sneak up on a man like that, Sheriff. When I heard we had a new teacher, I never figured on you. I know I told you to make sure Babyface here stays in school, but I'd say this is going a bit far. <laughs> okay. Where were we? Mathematics. Any objections? So, give me the answer straight. Okay, let's make it easier. Imagine this scenario. This guy enters a bar, okay? There's 15 guys from a rival outfit all mooching around, looking at him funny, like there's something going down, you know? Now, this is a well-connected guy, not someone to back down from a confrontation. So, a situation develops. He knocks off a level, they whack him. How many guys are left standing when the cops show up? Yeah, you big guy. How come they wait around for the cops to show up? I don't know. These guys ain't so smart. Now, let me show you how I learned. Boom. Boom. Whack. Whack. Arch, lift up that card, show it to the class. How much is this card worth? Lift it up. Arch, I know you know. Ten. Right. A king is worth 10. So 10 plus one. Thank you, Sheriff. 10 plus one equals 11. 11. Plus four, four equals 15. 15. Right. So how do we take away 11 from 15? Take away the king and the ace, sir. Right. Take away the king, 
and the ace. And what does that leave us with? Four. Four. It's a cinch. See? <laughs> Were you the man in the bar, sir? Are you really a low-down, dirty gangster, sir, like people say? Will you teach us to shoot, sir? <laughs> Dad's first day in school. <laughs> and they say he's very good looking. Anything else for you, Greta? Uh, no. <laughs> Listen, is it okay if I settle up at the end of the month? Verb hasn't sent any money this week. You break it, you buy it. Yeah, that's fine, Greta. You just give it to me when you have it. Oh, thank you, Ellen. You're an angel of mercy. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Sure got a relaxed way of doing business around here. What do you want? Want to steal some more candy? Friendly, too. How much you give me for this? I need some fast cash. Is that real? <laughs> Got more carrots than rabbit's poop. <laughs> <laughs> Is it yours? Sure. But I ain't got much use for it now. And what does your wife think about that? She's in show business. We're hoping for a divorce. I'll give you 20 for it, no more. Give me 25 at the end of the week, or I sell it off. What's your name? Charlie. And yours? My, that's a beautiful name. So simple and understated. Matches your personality to a T. Only seventeen dollars, lady. I took out three dollars you owe me for the jar. It's been a real pleasure doing business with you. Boss, it's Charlie. Just wanted you to know I'm working on getting you the money. Might take about a week, but I'll get it. I got a job here in my disguise. Where is here, Charlie? Where are you? Give me some time, Benny. Please. I'll get you the money. Don't use that word. Somebody might be listening. I know you got your new watch. Don't lie to me, Charlie, because I'll find you. I'm not lying to you, boss. I'm going to steal back the money. How many times I told that kid not to mention you know what on the phone? Hello, operator. Oh, hello, operator, yeah. Uh, you just put a call through here. Can you tell me where it came from? I'm sorry, sir, I can't do that. Oh, I think you can tell me. Do you know who I am? Oh, sorry, sir. You do? Uh-huh. The call was made from Cheerful. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Listen to me real good. I want you to send you know who, you know what, down to his bank, you know where. All of it. If I can't put him in jail, maybe I can put him out of business. But he can't suspect me. You get it? All right. Tell him you uh, have it for safekeeping in case there's a war here. Do this, and I'll get you a legit job in the Treasury mess it up, and I'll make sure you go down with the prey. That's good, Chief. That's good. Let him go. It's not even fun. Not only am I made to go 
to school. I have to live here too. Can't we go to a hotel? I really don't buy this out of sight, out of mind baloney. Why don't you get in the cupboard? Why? Just do as I say. It's more of that baloney stuff. sure no one else has. I'm Alabama. I run the juice business in town. I'm the new school teacher. Mm, I guess that, honey. Don't you have a name? Sure I know. Charlie, pleased to meet you. Well, Charlie, pleased to meet you. Let's say I come in and let you pop my cork. It's a French, of course. None of us bats are bubby with people are drinking these days. I have a taste for the exotic. Mm. Mm. Don't you? Mm. This is quite a place you got here. Yeah. I like what you've done with it. <sighs> Makes me feel young. Tell me, Charlie. Why do I feel like we've met before? I don't know. I must have one of those familiar faces. <laughs> I think it's your eyes, Charlie. my son, Archie. Archie, say hello to Miss Alabama. Save it for another time, kid. I only brought enough for two. Three's quite my style. I'll see you around. Good luck, sweetie. some chicken pie for Archie, but she said you mustn't have any. She doesn't know I brought you my history homework, sir. I think I've captured all the relevant points in Capone's career. Yeah, well, I'm sure you have. Couldn't just wait till tomorrow. I won't be in school tomorrow, sir, on account of my mother refusing to let her precious daughter be taught by a back alley hoodlum, sir. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry your mom feels that way. Me too. Still, it's a grown-up thing. Yeah. I, I forgot. Would you tell Archie I said hello? You can tell him yourself. He's in the closet playing hard to get. Man. But I can't stand it here, Jim. This place is choking me. You're slowing the decorators down. They're painting the same piece of wall ten times over. It's costing me a fortune. Are you still there, Mama, baby? Yes, I am, unfortunately. Why did I ever agree to come down here? Oh, baby. Jimsy Whimsy needs someone down there. Accountant don't love me, baby, which ain't a bad thing because he ain't me type. I'll make it up to you, I promise. You won't be able to afford me much longer if people keep trying to rob you. Hey. Some guy walks in here today and demands ten grand. Pretty specific, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I'd say. Pretty specific. Cheer up, Arch. I heard one of the older boys say they got a photograph of a real nude lady. With no clothes on and all. Really? How'd they get that? All right, here it goes. Do another one for me. Here, use up all the film. Well, we'll just have to share. One of them's gotta be a winner. No, I, I need to speak to Alabama right now. I'm afraid she's... Right here. Busy right now. 
What can I do for you, dear? Need a loan to brighten up your wardrobe? We've let you bully us about the loan repayments. And we've let you bully us into closing our eyes to your bootlegging. Listen, lady, if you think we're gonna allow you to bully us into hiring some hoodlum employee to teach our children, I mean, you got a fight on your hands. Oh, I admire your spirit, dear. Even if you are howling at the wrong mood. This new teacher's got nothing to do with us. I thought you people had hired him. <laughs> you think that we would hire someone like that? I guess not. That would be far too exciting for a very ordinary little town. Still, I wish he did have something to do with us. He's kind of good looking, wouldn't you say? I... But then if you think he's cute, maybe I should reconsider. Reconsider what? And if you didn't hire him, then who is he? I don't know, honey. But I could use a man with his... quality. Your turn. I spy with my little eye something beginning with, um, snake. Darn. I'm dumber than a chocolate teapot. You ain't dumb, Jim. You're probably smart in other areas. What other areas do you think? Try Florida. Hmm. All right, you two. Outside. Quick. <laughs> Please ignore him, children. Ah, there you are. Just in time for the next lesson. Mm -hmm. I need a third volunteer to join Big Man and Archie. I'll do it, Mr. Hudson. Virginia? Thanks, Virginia. So, class, imagine it. Virginia is the sun, the center of our world. Arch, Arch, you can be the earth. You revolve around Virginia. <laughs> Everybody inside, Mr. Elroy's. No longer your teacher. And Jimmy Muldoon, you're the moon. You travel in Archie's orbit. Am I made of cheese, sir? Of course. Everybody knows small boys are made out of cheese. <laughs> so, Virginia, you stay still. Arch, you run around Virginia. Off you go. Good. So that's how the Earth revolves around the sun once every year. Jimmy, you run around Archie. You're the moon's orbit of the Earth. <laughs> Sort of like that. Everybody, let's go inside and draw what we've just learned. About different worlds colliding. I think Jimmy's gonna wet himself, Dad. Jimmy, do you have somewhere you need to go? Yes, miss. I'm taking over. Need your help getting my job back. Are you in? Yeah. Miss, miss! You almost got me, miss! Calm down, Jim. What's wrong? <gasps> Mr. Toy saved my life, miss. He was attacking me. This thing, children, is a coral snake. Spends most of his life underground. Sort of the boss of the reptile underworld. Well, then why don't you take it back there now? You don't want to mess with this fella. He's well-connected in the Cobra family. He's a deadly, deadly hitman. One bite, and zap! The mother's buying a black hat. Can we keep him? Absolutely not. What does he eat, sir? Other snakes, mostly. Mm, some small lizards and rodents, maybe. Wrong. Big things eat little things all the time. Get the snake in with the school's pet mouse. Uh, 
children, we've learned a very important lesson here today. You do not put a cold-blooded, venomous predator in the same room as innocent little creatures, do we? But, if we're lucky, kids, maybe the snake will shed his old skin. He can shed as many skins as he likes. He will always be a snake. Can I see you outside, please, Mr. Elroy? Open your books and read from the beginning. Trouble, miss? This is no laughing matter. I know you're not a teacher, Mr. Elroy. You may not have the right qualifications, but... You are a bully and a fraud. Oh, so I am qualified. No. You're fired. You're not even fired because you didn't work here in the first place. What are you doing here, anyway? I'm only trying to make some money, Alan. No, I'm just broke like everybody else. I need this job. Come on, Alan, give me a chance. I only taught the kids what they wanted to know. What they want to know and what they should know are two different things. How can I give you a chance? You may not be a common hoodlum, but your sense of right and wrong is as clear as a dust storm. Your choice of female color leaves something to be desired. I take it you'll be moving on. That depends. On what? On whether I tell you what you really want to know or what you think you should know. I know I have a class to teach. Fellas, ain't it no, it ain't. Smart boy. You've been pulling the wool over our eyes. We know that you ain't no teacher. So he's wondering why on earth you're still here. If I see you here again, and you're still in town, I'm going to dig your grave myself and dance on it till my feet are sore. of an invertebrate. Yes, Jimmy. My father, miss. Are you sure? Think about it. Yes, miss. I'm sure, miss. My mama says he ain't providing for the family like what a real man should. So he ain't got no backbone, miss. <laughs> I know, Dwayne. 
I know. Looks like your boys flooded the engine. Get out of here, mister, or I'll shoot you down like, like a duck. He means dog, not duck. Ain't no one asking you to be a hero. Got the point you make it, fellas. Now you tell them to back off or my cousin and me is gonna start blasting away. These people worked hard for that money you got there. And I bet you none of them got insurance. Now, how are they gonna strike up the band just wave you goodbye now, are they? So either you do something stupid and get filled with a bunch of holes, or you do what I say, no one gets hurt, no one goes to jail. You seem like intelligent men, so give me the money, I'll make sure you get out of here alive. What's going on over there, Charlie? It's okay, Sheriff, let him go. I got the money. Are you sure? Trust me. What's to say we're gonna get hit? I bet that sheriff don't shoot too straight. Chances are Dwayne and me's gonna get out of here without no holes in us. And there's always the chance you won't. You willing to take it? I'll tell you what. Why don't we let fate decide? I guess the card you pick. You give me the money, get out of town alive. I guess it wrong, you take your chances. 13 to 1 in your favor. That sounds fair, Arnold. Seven. Your lucky number. But how'd he do that? You fellas promise me you'll be good. Now have a nice day. I'll take those. Oh, now, if I were you, I'd get out of town, too. There are people looking for you, and you know what these small towns are like. People just couldn't seem to keep you a secret. Now, my dad wouldn't have been the town hero if the engine hadn't flooded. And the town would have been a lot poorer, too. But I guess that woke my dad up to a few things. He realized that his actions affect everyone else around him. And made it kind of hard to stick around. Staying at Jimmy's. Oh, just for the best. If I stay here, I'm just gonna make a whole mess of things. And everywhere I go, the mess is gonna follow. Doing it for your own good. You're selling in here, you're doing well. You made some friends. You must be my magnetic personality. Cowboys always win. So my dad was sticking around to fulfill his responsibilities. And first up was chaperone duty. 
I told him that it was theme night, and the whole town was dressing up for the traveling cowboy movie. I even arranged the best seats in the house. Sometimes. Ellen, there's something I need to tell you. No. I need to apologize for jumping to conclusions about you. you know, I should have given you the benefit of the doubt. What you were saying to me about the snake. You were, you were trying to tell me that you changed. It's no big deal. I'm just trying to teach a kid something. Besides, I had a few lessons of my own to learn first. And I have changed, Ellen. It might have seemed harsh, Charlie, but I, I, I can't respect lawbreakers. Oh, that's okay. I'm not apologizing for it. Nobody should. You see, my husband... You married? Uh, was. For three years. You see, my husband... robbed gas stations to pay off his debts. And, and I didn't find out until one day he ran out of a gas station and into a train. All they found was one gold tooth. Which is all he left me. And it just... broke my heart. Not because I loved him, not because we were poor, but because I, I just had no choice but to turn myself into cold stone. And I had to think about Virginia and stop thinking about Ellen. And then you showed up. And I started to think about Ellen again. And it just doesn't feel right. Please, let me get a job. Let me pay you off. I ain't no money lender, Charlie. I ain't no bank. We gotta bring me to our business here. Jim McCrae's holding all of his cash here in the bank in Tearford. I mean everything I had it arranged. So, we hit the bank, and he's broke. I'm not used to you, Benny. I'm a lousy bank robber, believe me. But I'd like to wish you all the luck. Yeah, you know, they know your face this time. See, if we was to go to the bank, we wouldn't get within 20 yards of those goons at the door. It'd be a mess. But with you leading us in, we go in, we go out, and nobody knows we was there. And if I refuse? Well, this means 
a lot to be Charlie. I mean, if you refuse, I'd say your future ain't very bright. Or your lady friend. Just counting out the money, honey. Just to make sure it's all here. I think you should keep these safe, too. Gillis, would you show four eyes to the safe? Smith, Billy D. You pay up front. Well, I hope your date went better than mine. Dad. Dad. There's something I've been hiding from you. It's from the Irish Club. It fell off a table under my suitcase. I spent a few dollars printing out my photographs. And a little bit on candy. Why didn't you tell me about this? You said, as soon as you got the money, I wouldn't see you for dust. You must say a lot of things, okay? Arch, this is gonna get us off the hook. Won't be loud. Stay here. Don't answer. She needs to speak to you. Now! Tell me what's going on. I owe money to Benny Palladino. It's a long story, but the only way I can get out of robbing your bank here tomorrow is if I pay him off the money I owe. And here it is. Believe me, Ellen, I'm out. Think again, Charlie. But before you think about putting up a fight, it's only fair, I tell you. My man Earl has taken your boy hostage. You lay a finger on my son, McCray, I swear I'll tear you apart.
Thank you. For looking after me money, Charlie. You done me a big favor. No, really. You see, when me trusted accountant persuaded me to send all me money and me accounting books down here for safekeeping, I got kind of suspicious. What with yourself in town and all. Oh, yeah. Tongues have been wagging. So, I figure you and Benny Palladino had a plan, but you didn't figure on me figuring it out, which is why I figure you're so surprised to see me. Congratulations, McRae. You should have been a detective. What say we go over to the saloon, we have a couple of drinks, we celebrate, and you can bring my son along. Stay calm, Boyle. No need to be hasty. I'll celebrate tomorrow when you and Benny walk out of me bank with my money. Maybe you should go on over there tonight and celebrate. I don't think you'll have much time tomorrow. Let's keep this between these four walls. I'd hate to spoil the surprise. Your son would be so disappointed. Jim? Can't stay away, huh? I got something I want to show you. Now, honey, you're talking my kind of business. Remember, boys, you pull this off, and I'll make you but what happens if we get caught, Miss Alabama? Caught for what? Stealing newspaper? Caught with my pants down. Mm hmm What do you want? I hope you ain't been telling anybody any bedtime stories, Charlie boy. Just checking things out. Tomorrow. Well, I'd like you to sleep with us tonight. I don't want you sleepwalking and mumbling about the place. Virginia. I want you to help me get all the women in the town together. We'll meet here and tell them to bring their menfolks clothes. Has anyone seen my dad? Archie! Archie! Geez, Charlie, you look like a million dollars, all green and crinkly. Well, I ain't slept a wink all night. Can I get a juice? Scotch, Irish, Canadian? Apple. Yeah, well, Charlie, what you trying to do? Put this town out of business? I can't remember the last time anyone had some of Big Lucy's juice. You fellas want some breakfast? It's on your bill. Well, thank you for your honesty, lady, but we can't stop for breakfast. Gotta get it going. You can take it off the bill, though. Ready? Let's go get 
的事儿了。Morning, fellas. Meet my father and my brothers. They're in town visiting, so I'm showing them the sights. Turn it over. Don't leave money. Don't get hurt. We don't have any money here, sir. It's all gone. It, it just disappeared into the cosmos. Cosmos, my butt. Open up. I'll tell you why they call me the bomb. He's telling the truth, Benny. There's no money here. All right, he's a bit misguided about the cosmos, but I figure he's just clutching his trust. Don't cross me, Charlie. I got a short fuse today. for him. Ah! All right, I give up. Where is it? It's probably halfway to Mexico by now. Why do you always gotta mess everything up? Don't worry, Benny. McRae won't see any of that, though. He's broke. You can give him the good news in person. He's waiting for us outside. Where? You yanking my chain, Charlie? <sighs> Boss, did you find the boy? It's like they turned the tables on us. Well, let's see, we turn them back over again. Good idea. Yet. Put your guns down, fellas. It's all over. That's what you might think, but my gun says different. Money's gone, McCray. Release my son and justice will be merciful. I guarantee you that. What's he playing at? I thought you said the boy escaped. <laughs> Come on out, Betty! The game is up! We can discuss the terms of your retirement. <laughs> yeah, but other parts to the picture, McGraham. The money and your girlfriend. I got ten grand that says if you find one, you find the other. If you don't believe me, come take a look. I told you, my people don't steal from me, Paladino. It's true, McRae. She set up a bank robbery as a decoy. But I messed up her plans. We made a deal last night. My Alabama wouldn't do that. Would you, sweet pea? I'm 
keeping your books in a safe place. But I'll turn them straight to the tax man if you don't do as I say. He's going to be very interested in your undeclared earnings. All right, all right, all right. Look, I tell you what. Tell me where the books are, and when I have them in my hand, then I'll give you the boy. I'm the one making the deals here, McCray. Show me my son first. me in a very tight corner here. There's only one way to get out of this. Figures, boys. Hey! Back off, you might get hurt, you senile old halfwit. You hold your tongue there, boy. I had me enough of your monkey shines and shenanigans. I fixed up a posse. Got you all surrounded. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I forgot. The police force in this town's invisible. Ah. Uh, yeah. There's got to be hundreds of them. Maybe even thousands. <laughs> but you're hollering about your great googly moogly. Don't believe me, Who cares? You give me the books, you're off the hook. Hey, that guy's wearing my hat. What? Hey! Uh, that's my hat! Nobody wears my hat! Your hat needs fumigating. And your suit smells too. Yeah! I might have guessed this had something to do with you. Fought dirty, Palladino. I did what I gotta do. I'm on the doorstep of public office. I'm gonna make history happen. And you, McRae, are already part of it. I'll bounce back. I got the books. The only bouncing you're gonna be doing is around the walls of your jails. <laughs> All right, boys. Move out. If you haven't come to buy a wedding ring back, I sold it. <laughs> Just came to get some rope here. It's the one thing that keeps Archie quiet. On long journeys. I found these at the school. You a gambling man? Well, what do you say? You pick a card. Higher than a six, you leave. You get a six or lower, you stick around.
it then, my dad. Sorry, son. We gotta stick around here a while. Race you home! Now, if I'm ever found guilty of being a good son, I'd hold up my hands, and I'd blame it all on my dad.